everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, I had few requests uh, to create or to do tutorial how I made uh, acorn journal, which I shared with you a month ago about that. I don't have tutorial for that book and uh, I actually can't recreate that book because I don't remember how exactly I was folding all pages, but I can show you what I did. And you will figure it out what you can do and how you will fold your pages. It's quite simple. It's just you will create a base and around the base you will fold your pages. For my journal, I used very large paper. I started with uh, this one is A2 size paper. Alpha 2. It's very large paper. That's kind of similar paper what I had before. So what I did, I folded that paper in the size, uh, which was kind of like base for my pages. Uh, this one I'm gonna just uh, cut on two pieces. So if you do have at home A3 Alpha 3 size paper, that's uh, what you will need for today's journal. Uh, last time I had a little bit bigger paper, I believe, but A3 size paper will do. So this is A3 size uh, of paper. That's the size when normal printer paper, A4 size, you can fit twice here. So this is A3. I had before a little bit bigger. So what I did, I took this my piece of ruler. This is a half inch, uh, I think. Just bear with me, I'm gonna just check. Yeah, half inch. This is half inch and I use that to create a spine. What I did, I placed the ruler on the side of my paper. I grabbed that opposite side, slide it to my ruler. And fold it. Then I took this side, flip it this way, took my ruler, place that ruler again on the side of that paper, grab that opposite side, slide it to my ruler, and fold it. With that, I have created in the middle spine, like this. Then I grabbed these edges and I folded them to these folds, to that spine. Not totally to the spine because I didn't want to get my pages stuck in the middle of my book. So close to that spine but not exactly on that spine. I'm going to show you here. I hope you can see where the fold of the spine is. It's here and I do have that little small gap. And I'm going to do the same on that opposite side. Like this. And then I needed to decide how tall my journal will be. I had already printed out papers at that time. So I took my papers, placed them here on the top and just folded the bottom around those papers to make sure that uh, my papers will fit into those, you know, into that template or that base. Today I'm going to be using this 8x8 eight eight paper. So I'm going to place my paper here on the side and here on the top. Match those sides. And I'm just going to fold the bottom. And continue with folding here. I'm gonna fold all folds one more time and burnish with bone folder to make sure I will see them. I 
I'm going to use Distress Ink and Distress all these folds to make sure you will see what I do have here. So these are my folds. Uh, then I grabbed scissors and I decided where I want to have uh, pockets. Uh, I created first pockets from these bottom uh, shorter pieces. So here I would like to have pocket probably here, the bottom pocket, and maybe here. So these two I'm going to keep together with the paper. These two I will cut off to make sure that I can have pocket on the all page. I would like to have that, you know, kind of like hinge for the pocket. So I didn't cut all that piece off. I took a part of that piece and kept it together with this. And created from that half of the hinge. So here, that will be one side of my hinge. The other side I have created from this. Like this. So when all this will be decorated, I can just put the glue here fold it over and i do have pocket on all the side here then i created this pocket i do have here this part which is for spine so that will be another my hinge like here and again i'm gonna keep here a part of this piece that's another that opposite hinge And I do have another pocket. That can be on the opposite side. Here. So I had one of my basics done. For, you know, this is just base. And it's base with a spine. Then I have created one which I added inside. And that other one was without this spine. I'm gonna grab that other half. I'm gonna just fold it on half. And here I'm gonna place this on the table, place this one on the top. And to make sure that my pages will be similar, I can either took this bottom part as my navigator to watch how far I should fold this so I would go here and here I do have left over that's what creates here my spine so I can either cut it off or fold it again and that will be hinge for next page which I can glue on that or I can simply fold the paper on half here and that will make a little bit bigger page, which I actually did. I didn't, uh, didn't mind that some of my pages will be a little bit wider just because that makes interest in my journals. So I did fold it this way. Just very simple way. Then again... This size, how tall my journal will be, I took always the same. So I'm gonna follow the first page. And again, I'm gonna burnish all my folds 
to make sure I will see them. I'm going to distress all my folds and I will come back. So again, you can see my folding and I did exactly same steps like before. I choose where I want to have pockets. Those parts I kept. So maybe here, this side one. And from my off cut before, I can create those side flaps this way. And here. And I'm going to do here side pockets on both of these. And this I can use as an extra page. I can glue it on the side and make it an, as an extra page. Or I can create a little booklet from this one. So I do have prepared another pocket. And when I will place these two together, it did make base for one of my signatures. I think I have prepared six or eight signatures. Now I'm not sure. I don't really remember. It was just because I didn't need to remember. <laughs> you know, it was just I was enjoying that creation. So <laughs> once I had prepared uh, my base for the signature, here I'm gonna grab this of cut from here and I'm gonna actually create another flap from that. And I think I'm gonna take just my brown tape and tape it together. So I do have my brown tape on that extra paper. Now I can place them together. And you don't have to be exactly, you know. But it have to match the sides, not at all. It can be placed just in the middle and create this beautiful extra page. So I do have that extra page here. And once I had these basics, uh, I was thinking maybe I can prepare it straight away some kind of windows for my journal. So I choose the parts where I didn't prepare pockets, which means here on this part, it's this side and this side. Sometimes I choose both to create a frame straight away. Sometimes I choose only one from all that sheet that only one will have window. So that's what I prepared before I started to do anything else. And then it was just embellishing. So I'm going to prepare a few of these pages, show you what I have. I do have prepared here uh, kind of like three signatures. So I'm going to show you what I do have prepared. My first signature, that outside piece with the spine. When I do open it, it's this way. I do have window. Oh, sorry. Window full page pocket on on that full page that will be folded this way then i do have spine uh, full page and window and here i made mistake but it will work anywhere either way you can always put the pocket where you will create the window because then you will have you know see through what is in your pocket so don't be afraid if you will make <laughs> kind of like a uh, mistake because it's not mistake actually how you will create it the way it will be so this is my first one that insert inside which doesn't have a spine here it's just folded on half that large paper it does have this spread 
full page with the pocket on the bottom, window, full page with the pocket on the bottom, window. That's my first. The second, it will be quite similar. I just didn't make that pocket on the bottom. I made two pockets here in the middle. Then this, it's also quite similar. I can place it either way, you know. Uh, window, full page with the pocket on the bottom. Again, window with and next full page with the pocket. And uh, as you can see, I already placed... Uh, my acetate sheets inside but I left on that third one I left one window empty without acetate sheet I do have it here prepared but uh, here I want to just show you how you can decorate the window you can use washi tapes and do framing with using washi tapes or if you would like to use your decorative paper to create a frame around your window and if you cut it, all windows exactly same as I did. Keep one without plastic, without that acetate sheet. And cut your paper in the size you need. So here I'm just going to measure how big piece it's this one. And I see that it's four inches. So from my sheet... Because I know it's exactly the same size tall. So from my sheet of designed paper, I'm going to cut piece 4 inches. I do have here my decorative paper. I'm going to place it on my page. Clip it with paper clips together. Then flip it over and here I'm going to draw the window. And that decorative piece I'm going to keep like my template for cutting frames, for decorating. So now here I'm gonna, oops, <laughs> here I'm gonna cut off that window like this and this decorative paper I'm gonna keep like template for creating, uh, you know, all frames for my book. So now I can add that acetate and this is how I do have that last piece with the spine. So only one window and two pockets. And inside, I do have this one. I have created windows here in the middle. So I can either place it this way, sew it between, and create pocket here, pocket here. Or I can glue these together, keep it as a top-loaded pocket, and sew it with this fold here into my spine. So then I will have... Uh, then I will have flap here actually and flap here. So this can be changeable. If I will sew it here in this fold and create one pocket here, one pocket here, to adding another paper or another frame on this one, I can have, you know, more flaps using these. So it depends how I will decide it to sew it into my signature. So I'm going to add a window here, or I mean acetate here. And I'm going to decorate my pieces and I will show you what you can do with this basic, with this base in the final journal. I do have prepared just the basics and I want to show you what I do have till now. So I uh, used washi tapes to decorate the frames from one side, from other side. I do have created these frames, which I will include in there. Uh, I added here and there on these flaps uh, decorative paper. 
and I did sewing all around of all piece including the pockets I did sewing here as well so all pieces are, are sewn all around and all frames are decorated with some washi tapes on one side the other side is plain there will be fitted this one so i try to kind of like um, make it the way where it will match with some pocket i do have so it's this one this one i do have frame covered with washi tape from this side here will be one of these decorative frames the pocket here i do have this way now this has uh, here i already sewn the pocket in or, or on so i do have decorative washi tape just here on this edge just to make you know beautiful decorative uh, background here then i do have this decorative uh, washi tape around this window and again decorative paper on the pockets and here i do have this and now it will be about editing things editing extra pockets extra pages this is that uh, cut out from the bottom So that's what I do have prepared till now and those frames. And I am back with uh, my signatures. Before I will create a cover for this journal, uh, I would like to show you how I made each of these openings. I thought I, I'm going to have this video tonight, uh, this Friday, but it took a little bit longer time than I expected. So it will be probably tomorrow hopefully it will be tomorrow so i'm gonna take this uh, this will be probably my first signature this is the part with the spine here so it's open like this i think i do have here oh, this is just extra so it's open like this it does have that spine these two sides here you can see that a uh, frame i used just washi tape on this side this I have glued here to that frame, so it's extra page. And here on the top, I have glued this frame. Here I do have this washi tape around, and here I do have that pocket where I told you, oh, I made mistake, but in the end, it's not mistake. Before I glued that pocket uh, down, I added decorative paper in the inside of that pocket to make it kind of like cute. You know, do not make it too too plain so from other side i do have this you have that frame where i can go from the side i do have this pocket and on the top another pocket i should take something so i will show you where are pockets so here we have a pocket and pocket and here we have a pocket and pocket as you can see i do have another pocket here this is from my kind of like brand new little collection of christmas trees i do have three sheets with uh, kind of like postcards or larger uh, postmarks i would say uh, which can be added to your journal and i do have uh, a third page which i actually used plus these little pockets there is six pockets on the page so that's my uh, brand new collection just a small one and i created that collection just because of this journal <laughs> that's why it took longer time so that's first part of this signature that second part is this one i'm gonna open it yeah so this was full sheet it was just that folded and folded without the gap between so in the middle, I have created those two frames that I showed you. On this side, I used uh, washi tape, same on both sides to kind of make it, you know, to, to make it together, go together. 
here on this side uh, I added that off cut from the bottom that's what I did show you here I do have pocket here and pocket here and then on this off cut I added one more page I used that print here to create kind of like little file folder as an extra here I do have these two uh, I actually glued them here on this on this side so they are just like flapping over and this one it's glued here again like flapping over and it's just like you know cute little decoration and also extra space for journaling that's extra pages and here this is actually from that christmas tree collection this is one of these designs i place it in the background i do have pocket here and little pocket here that's on this side and when we flip it over i added just these two frames here it will be folded this way it will be folded in my journal this way this will be spine of my journal so when it's open i do have frame here and we go inside that frame from this side and when it's open here i do have this frame here and we go to that pocket from here so that's this signature i'm gonna place them together then second one i do have this and again i'm gonna take that inside off and first show you the part where i do have that kind of like gap between pages so this was the base where i created frames on the sides so now I'm going to show you. This was an extra, which I have created uh, from my uh, prints. Uh, here I used uh, decorative paper from uh, the collection I showed you from that 8 by 8 sheet. And the signature will be like this. Here is that spine. So I glued that frame here. Before I glued that frame on my page, I added this extra page to that frame here. I glue it on this side here and then I glue that down. All is sewn around and decorated and I used a little bit of washi tapes here and there. Here I have created just uh, small pockets. Here I have created also just small pockets. This is like an extra. And the last page here, it's that another frame. And again, I have created that frame from that 8 by 8 sheet. Then I added these stickers and uh, washi tapes. From that other side, I do have washi tapes around those frames. I cut it on that base, just like decoration. And here I do have triple pocket. This is from my... Uh, christmas file folder design i will put links for all digitals i used here down below if you will, would like to have a look this is also from one of my file folders designs and it can be open like this videos for these they will come at wednesday that will be day where i will share you know uh, bits and pieces from my etsy share or from my etsy digitals for my customers to know what they can do with those collections it's just like you know kind of like navigation because i do have that those collections and i think it's always good to see what we can do with all our digitals so uh, i glued this is one of my file folders i do have on my etsy now uh, i created that base then i glued that base down so i do have pocket behind and then one pocket which is supposed to be in that file folder here so i can stack there a lot And it's closing behind this belly band, kind of like slide in. That's what I do have on this side. And it will be this way and this way. That inside signature, that's just that folded, folded, you know, without that gap. So from one side, I do have just these frames and plain, plain places for writing. I used only those washi tapes to decorate it 
and from other side i do have this i created again from those eight by eight papers uh extra extra frames which wait i'm gonna go ah this way so here we have entry to that pocket and here we have entry to that pocket so it will be yeah it will be this way in my signature now i confused myself <laughs> then i do have again that uh, christmas trees collection here only here so i do have one pocket and another pocket and one two three four pockets here this is from file folder collection and this is from the christmas trees collection so it will be in my signature this way we have writing spot uh, just decorative frame here is that pocket to that frame pocket pocket another pocket 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 there is not enough pockets <laughs> in the journals so that's kind of like second signature and the third one is this one can i take this one off so and this one off i'm gonna take off that inside and i'm gonna show you the base so this was the base with that spine here with that gap between pages so from uh the base when i cut the window here i just decorated again with the washi tape that was on all my frames that i used washi tape and i decorated one side and then on other side i created extra from this side extra uh, frame from eight by eight so from this side we do have pocket here and this is from those christmas trees collection this is from file folder collection and here you can see i just put together all these off cuts from inside and uh, created little writing journal by sewing all these off cuts with my sewing machine and then just i i just put a few decorations on that so it's in this pocket and we do have pocket here and pocket behind the gift and when i flip it over this is from file folder collection i do have uh, on my etsy this is slot pocket and then another pocket behind i left this one empty here from eight by eight paper pad i created a large pocket and this one it's from a file folder collection and i do have this side pocket and one more side pocket and another this way another uh, large window pocket here and it will go to my signature this way so pocket 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 open we do have that entry to that frame uh, page and pocket then we do have pocket here pocket pocket open and pocket 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 <laughs> and that last one that inside for this again made just with you know that fold and fold and i think i placed it inside the wrong way did i i think i did so in this on this paper i added actually one sheet uh, kind of like flap from the top and i do believe yeah i glue it to this frame before i glued that frame on my already cut it, you know window this is again made from eight by eight uh, that frame so before i glued that frame down uh, i created one extra page this is from classical christmas collection i created extra kind of like tap uh, and i glue it first to that frame and then all i glued down to this frame and it makes beautiful kind of like flap here i do have just simple pockets here 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 i left this one for writing this is 
cut window in that base which I decorated with washi tape and this I have created from 8 by 8 sheets I'm gonna flip it over from 8 by 8 decorative paper just extra pocket on the top and this one it's from my file folder collection and this is the whole die of course and I have created kind of like a large pocket behind here I do have pocket pocket and this one it's original cut in this base and I did decorate it just with that washi tape and I left this one for writing and it will go to my signature this way I believe yeah this way so in my signature it will be pocket 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 we're gonna flip this way it's see-through writing spot here is flip up that window entry to this pocket is from this side writing spot here we have uh, that pocket here and entry it's from this side there we have pocket here pocket pocket that's all what i did <laughs> it took me a longer time i have to say than i wanted <laughs> So now I am ready to create cover for my journal. Uh, I'm going to create cover for this uh, little journal. I'm going to measure this here where my uh, signatures are the most thick here in this spot. So I'm going to place them together, hold them together, get up my ruler and measure how much. Oh, this way, I guess. It looks like two inches spine will be okay and of course I need to measure this uh, the pages are four inches and I don't want to have a bigger journal cover so I'm gonna actually cut four uh, four inches the width of my chipboard I do have chipboard which is exact same size uh, same tall as are my signatures so this gonna stay same and here I'm gonna cut two pieces four inches to cover with and I'm thinking to use towel roll by the way I had a question uh, on my video many questions on my video with toilet paper rolls why I did use alcohol to spray those toilet paper rolls that's uh, what I learned through the time to do every single time when I'm using toilet paper rolls and it doesn't have any other reason just to kill bacteria. <laughs> just in case. I'm not sure. It's in my head, you know. It was sitting on a, a, in the toilet area, not on the toilet, like the, the seat, but in that room. So it's in my head that I'm using alcohol to spray them. It's just because. It doesn't have any other reason. So just to clear that, I hope <laughs> that will help. And here, um, this kitchen roll it does have actually nearly exact same size so i will need to cut it just a little bit i'm thinking to use it to create spine although yeah maybe i can so i'm gonna cut it on two pieces Now I know where to cut it. And I still have nice curved shape. So I'm gonna cut it on two pieces. Here and here. And also, I need to cut it in the <clears throat> right size. I'm going to place it here. Match it with this. And cut. Check the sides. So now I can cut the second one.
and I do have pieces for the spine. I'm gonna cut also two pieces for front and back cover. I do have cut my basic pages uh, <laughs> pieces for cover. I'm gonna move them aside for now. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm gonna create two inches spine for my book. And as you can see, my papers, maybe this, I will be able to glue on back cover, but the front cover doesn't have end paper. I can't glue this one to the cover to uh, keep all together. So I need to create uh, end papers. And to those end papers, I will also sew my signatures. I'm going to create just, you know, I'm going to use this print. Uh, this is from Classical Collection. Four, four two inches so I need 10 inches uh, long paper tall I forgot to measure but tall same as my book eight inches I'm gonna cut this to 10 by eight now on the opposite side I'm gonna draw lines because I need to reinforce the spine I know Front cover and back, co back cover has four inches and I would like to place here a fabric or fabric tape to reinforce the spine and I would like to reinforce the spine a little bit more than the spine width. My spine width will be two inches so to be a little bit more than two inches I'm gonna make a mark three and a half here. And draw a line. And three and a half from that opposite side. And here in this space, I'm going to place fabric tape I'm gonna be using this medical or sport fabric tape and place it in my area I just marked that will reinforce those uh, the spine and I will be able to sew my signatures in it without tearing the paper Now I'm going to grab my pencil again and do marks four inches from each side, which will be, you know, marking the area where the actual spine will be. Here. I will have three signatures sewn in. <clears throat> now I'm gonna divide this on three. I'm gonna make a mark uh, 1.8 and 1.8 opposite side 1.8 and 1.8 so I do have three similar spots and here I can make marks where I will place my signatures. Now I need to poke the holes into my signatures. So I'm going to always take one signature. And poke the hole in it. 
I do have here from before my template and they are actually, this is long enough to place it, you know, into my signature. I just need to remember which way I'm placing it. So this is bottom, this is top of my book and I need to place it always the same way. So here to make sure it's kind of half, place it here and slide it to the end poke the holes and same template i'm gonna be using in my uh, end papers and i will mark same holes like i am poking here into these holes i'm gonna be sewing my signatures that's one And again, slide it to side, open in the middle, take my template. Now I'm going to use the same, same template. I'm going to grab a pencil. And in these three spots, I'm going to mark, yeah, this way. I'm going to mark in the middle of these spots, I'm going to mark uh, same, same marks I used for poking uh, my signatures. Here. And I will also poke the holes at these spots. I do have poked all holes, now I can take a uh, signature, open it in the middle and I forgot to say I added to my signatures just a few papers with the colors just to add there a little bit more colors but it's kind of like nearly solid color, solid, so, not solid, solid pattern and I can start the song. So my first signature and I'm gonna go to first row of the holes and I will go up and then a following same uh, same holes I will go down with uh, the sewing Now I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go around here on the top of my signature, around the paper and go back through the same holes just in that opposite direction. And here on the bottom I can make a knot and maybe 
put there some decoration. If I will want so, maybe some beads. So I'm not gonna make it too tight. I don't wanna rip the edges of my papers. And I can take second signature. And sew it next to it. And just to make sure I'm not placing it upside down, which can happen. It did happen to me a few times actually. So <laughs> just to make sure it's in the right position and sewn in the next row of holes. And then follow same steps until you do have sewn in the last signature. I do have it here. Aha. So I do have my a little book block done. And uh, now I can create my journal cover. I do have here my pieces for cover. I do have those two pieces uh, of the kitchen roll, which I'm gonna glue it together to make spine more uh, more thick and strong. Before I will glue those two pieces together, I'm gonna glue between them a piece of fabric, which will which I will use to glue uh, these chipboards on it. I do have here just some uh, leftover from, I have no idea from what. <laughs> and I'm going to glue it between my pieces. It's a piece of cotton fabric. It's, it's nice and strong, but it's not thick. So I know it will be not too much visible or too, it will don't make bulks. I'm going to apply the glue on one piece of this uh, kitchen roll. Add there the fabric and then on it. I'm going to glue that uh, second piece of kitchen roll and let it dry. I'm going to glue fabric the way uh, it's nice and uh, big piece of, of this fabric. So I'm going to glue these two kitchen rolls kind of like in the middle to make sure I will have on the sides uh, some fabric which I can glue to those chipboards. Doesn't have to be a big piece, but I have to have there something. Now I can cut, and now on the top, I'm gonna glue this second piece of chipboard and I'm gonna match the sides I'm gonna apply the glue on the side of my chipboard And place it here next to that kitchen roll. I'm gonna keep there a small gap about one eighth of inch, I would say, just to make sure when I will wanna close it, I will don't get stuck. If I will put it too close, I'm gonna show you. If I will put it just exactly to the edge. When I will want to close it, these edges of the kitchen roll and chipboard can get stuck. So I'm going to try to keep small gap between the kitchen roll and the chipboard. About one eighth of, uh, one eighth of inch. Or two millimeters. That's going to be enough. Then same I'm going to do on that opposite side. I'm going to try to keep this straight 
in one line. I'm gonna flip it over and here from inside uh, I'm gonna place paper tape but I'm gonna secure it also with the tacky glue just to make sure everything will hold nicely together not tacky PVA sorry PVA glue not tacky glue and place that paper tape same I'm gonna do on that opposite side I do have glued that base together I do have glued inside those brown uh, tapes and now I can start to put some uh, paper on the top I'm gonna be making kind of like a base from book pages and I'm gonna be using PVA glue to glue my book pages on this book cover and to make sure that everything is glued properly and nicely I'm gonna apply quite a lot of glue So I do have first layer of paper applied. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna place it on my table this way actually. Just to let it stand and let it dry. To make sure all papers will get glued and these gaps will don't get uh, crumpled. The book pages on my cover are dried and everything looks gl glued. Uh, I cut the book page around about uh, one centimeter or I don't know half inch. I'm gonna glue it <coughs> to my book cover on the sides. And now on this, I'm going to use my ripped off uh, edges from the papers I used inside of my signatures. They do have here and there, you know, some nice prints. So I'm going to try to make something, <laughs> something like collage here. I'm not sure how, but I will try to make some nice collage. And I'm not going to go over the spine, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna do just front and back. I think I'm not gonna do any like too much crazy collage because I would like to add here a little bit more. So I decided to go just with these two colors and place those strips on my book cover. Just very easy way.
I do have glued my flaps uh, on the spots where I want them. And before I will make a closure, I'm gonna glue it inside the book block. For gluing book block, I'm gonna be using my homemade paste. It's kind of like homemade book binding glue. And I found the uh, video on YouTube how to make it. So now grab the right side. I believe it's this one. Yeah. And I'm gonna place the paper the way it should be. And let this dry. I'm not gonna glue yet the back side. I'm gonna first let this dry. I believe the front cover holds nicely now. So I'm gonna put the glue on the back cover. I mean inside. And now this back paper I'm gonna match with the cover. Like this. Yeah, well, hello <laughs> again. It's already Sunday, so I do believe I didn't upload the video at uh, at Friday. I do apologize for the <laughs> delay, but for some reason I couldn't figure it out what kind of closure I would like to get on my journal. Uh, as you can see, I added uh, so many things into my journal. I will make flip through in the end. I also added uh, eyelets here on the top. And added some pictures here and picture here just to make it decorative and two eyelets here to hang there some decoration. So it looks like this now. And um, I was thinking what kind of closure. This journal doesn't have to have closure, but I'll, I would like to have here something, some... Uh, something where I can <laughs> actually use this beautiful elastic band because it's red, it's festive and I would love to have it here somehow. So we're gonna create a cover uh, or additional to a cover. First I thought I'm gonna use one of the kitchen rolls I do have here and create some kind of folder here, little window here, but it will be not the dimension I want. Well, I changed a little bit mind. I found in my stuff this old die. It's beautiful, very old Sizzix. Uh, it's called frame jelly, jelly frame. This is how it looks like, uh, this beautiful Sizzix die. Uh, I cut it two pieces from an old uh, cardstock on, on an old uh, box. And here I do have a piece of old uh, envelope which I would like to use as well somehow to fix it uh, here on my front cover uh, because here is that red, red tape it's that sticky tape I'm planning to use that sticky tape <laughs> actually so if I will glue it there and I will fold it this way this is probably too long I will cut it down a little bit I will have here kind of like a tuck spot and this can hold my frame and on that I can actually somehow fix the elastic band and wrap it around somehow. So I will need acetate to create a window in this and I think I don't want to put anything over this picture. So I'm gonna make this one just like a shaker card actually I'm gonna create shaker card I do have my two frames I do have piece of acetate folded on half and it's in the size 
here in the size which I can fit into that frame and it's a little bit longer here on one side first I'm gonna fix my acetate in uh, on one frame I'm gonna be using right now double sided tape but then I will also sewn all around just to make sure my shaker card will hold nicely and I also would like to have uh, this window looks frosty for frosty look I'm gonna take my nail file and I'm just gonna sand Uh, my acetate and that will give to that sheet a little bit frosty look it looks like this now and I'm gonna sand just one side I think it's enough yeah so now I can glue it inside I do have my folded acetate piece glued on one of these uh, frames I'm gonna take my sewing machine and sew here here and here the part where I do have the acetate sheet longer I'm gonna keep open like this I do have sewn these three sides here it's still open uh, I do have here little stars and this uh, iridescent dust and I'm gonna add from both of these a little bit into my window and then sew this fourth side I think that's enough oops that's gonna be enough So now I can sew this fourth side and I will try to connect all my sewing. So maybe I will sew one more time around. If I do have it sewn on this side. I'm going to grab my second piece and glue that frame from this opposite side. And that second sewing I'm going to do through to all these layers. And I will do one more sewing all around the window. match the frames <laughs> and now I can do sewing all around around the frame one more time all sewing done and when I place it over that picture it looks really cute look at that like behind the frosty window I can kind of smash that sun down <laughs> it's so cute uh, this is by the way from Spindler of Mlin. it's uh, the place where my sister is living and also working and this is address where she's working on the plains uh, it's beautiful very high mountains and there is a little kind of like a restaurant and there is my sister working so this is address where is my sister working so 
And look at that, they do have already lots of snow, like a huge amount of snow. So, here I'm gonna create a closure. And this, I think I will need to work on that first before I will glue it down. I don't like these sharp corners here and here. For this, I'm gonna use just corner punch. And I'm gonna keep it this long, I guess. Okay, that's these corners. And that will be glued here. I need these corners, but these corners are too thick to add them to my corner punch. So I'm just gonna get up my scissors and cut. And cut. It's kind of plain. So I'm going to do embossing. I can cut it here and then emboss that piece. I do have my piece cut in the size I need. Here is still that red tape. Hopefully I will be able to take it off. Otherwise I will use, you know, uh, double-sided tape, I guess. I will see. So it will be fixed here. Like this. So here I need to fix my frame. So I'm gonna have a look. I think here on this spot. So first I'm gonna add there a little bit of glue and glue it down. I should distress it. So first I'm gonna <laughs> distress my frame. I'm gonna be working on this once I do have all measurement done and all sides done. I'm gonna work on that leftover from acetate, but first I need to have everything else kind of measured and placed. Okay. So I'm going to glue my frame into this and also distress this one a little bit. So now I can glue it here. Like this. I'm going to poke the holes or punch the holes here and here and add there the eyelets and I'm gonna add eyelets here uh, and here as well here it will be for holding all together really really well here it will be just decorative element so it looks like this now I can fit this here so I'm gonna try to take off that red tape And we will see. And I think with that embossing, I just press it there too harshly. Okay. So I'm going to take my glue and glue it with the glue. Like this, okay. This way. Yeah. Try to sit down and press, press, press. Like 
think it's holding now. So now I'm gonna create that closure. I do have here prepared circles, uh, one inch circle with the hole in the middle. And I do have here a piece of old cardstock. I put that double sided tape. And I'm gonna create kind of like reinforcement for my circles. Hope this will be okay. Oh, was I too close? Oh, too close. But it doesn't have to be exactly circle because it will be hidden anyway. You just need to lift it up a little bit, those one inch circles. And one more. First, I'm gonna put together these small ones. That's why I do have that, that double sided tape because I'm gonna be gluing it on acetate to fix it, you know, first. So the double sided tape is the best. Yeah, this will be enough. I'm gonna take one of these circles and place it probably here. I'm gonna punch the hole. Now I can glue over it this. There you go. And now on the top, which one is nice one? This one. On the top, I'm gonna fix with eyelet this circle. Yeah. I'm place it here and fix an eyelet in that hole. Now I'm gonna cut that acetate uh, along the edges and here along uh, the circle. So I do have fixed that uh, circle on that piece of acetate. I cut it all around. I do have here these two eyelets and I'm gonna be using them to add there my elastic band. somehow in the middle so if it will go around I need to measure how how far I should make a knot to 
keep the book close. Uh, just like this. And I do have my closure done, I, I believe. <laughs> so that's my closure. I'm going to keep this one here. Just in case I will feel that I need to, you know, uh, make it a little bit loose. But I don't think so. I think it's actually exactly what that needs. So that's my closure for my book. And that's the book I uh, created with you today. I'm going to make a flip through and a quick flip through we do have that shaker with the snowy effect and with the stars i really love that it looks amazing so there is opening here and pocket here sliding up or flipping up flipping down and pocket here And here I do have that kind of like tax spot, a little tax spot right here. And I forgot to add here some charm. I need to add there some charm. So we do have opening, window, opening, and pocket, and pocket. I add here and there some decorations, some of my stampings. Here we have that pocket. And in the pocket, I added also some images. I didn't add to every single pocket something, or maybe I did, but I, <laughs> I don't think so. So here, uh, I added this little sign. It's beginning to look like a lot like Christmas. <laughs> I don't know those. I don't remember those words. That's the horrible. I love that song, <laughs> but I don't remember words. I need to learn those English words. <laughs> Because I love that song. <laughs> and here I do have envelope. So that's this one. Here. Oh, did I forget? I did forget. Look at me. No, I didn't. I just showed you. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't show you. I forgot I do have weird pocket. Look at me. So we do have pocket there. With some epimeras. Writing pages. Flip window and pocket pocket opening and there is the booklet if you do remember those toilet paper rolls creations and pocket here pocket there this one we created with my patreons it's kind of like a funny opening where you can write uh, some secret message. It does have pocket here. It does have pocket here and it does have pocket here. I think I maybe will keep it there. Oh, it's too big. That's my stamping actually. Look at that. Huh? I'm learning stamping a lot. And we do have uh, this. I tried to, you know. Uh, the dye, this beautiful dye, Keira, Keira. Uh, it's Celtic dye and I really love that. I used that dye uh, when I created from that old envelope, that Santa box back. So I used that dye and I really love that dye. It looks so cute. So I do have pocket, pocket, pocket. And we do have... Uh, that frame and i added there just this one maybe for some profile picture you know it can be cute here in that window <clears throat> and we do have pocket here this cute picture in uh, behind here i do have this uh, nutcracker and little envelope
and it does have opening this window see through to that pocket here and i do have that oh yeah this is that flip up here i do have again that uh, toilet paper roll pocket and pages for writing and as you can see uh, if i will want to write down i can press it down and very easily to write in this book even though it's fully loaded it's kind of thick but it's possible to lay it down and we do have pocket here i do have this ephemera and this ephemera here i do have a little tuck here this uh, this is also from toilet paper roll craft I will link that video down below if you haven't seen that yet. Here I do have that little notepad. And picture of Santa. Tag. And here I added only... Oh, look at that. How badly I did cut it. Shoot. I'm going to put that different one. Here I added just these Tim Holtz labels. And I need to add something in there, probably. Or I'm going to keep it empty for, you know, for future own. And here we have that little folder with the pocket and pocket. So many pockets. And pocket here. We go to that pocket from this side. And pocket here. And again, writing pages and that frame pocket here with a little folder for writing. And Santa image. Come here. Come here, Santa. And then we do have pockets here. Again, a frame here with this tag. And pocket, 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 and pocket. Again, writing pages. And pocket, 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 <laughs> with all kind of stuff. And again, pocket here. So there is so many pockets, and I do believe, especially through the Christmas time and holiday time, you know, when we are creating or taking a lot of pictures. I believe a journal like this with so many pockets, so many windows can be very useful because uh, it's great to uh, to place your pictures in some nice book. And I'm going to try to close it. Or maybe I should make it a little bit loose. No, it's good. It's good. So that's my journal. For Christmas, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and uh, sharing your time with me. I hope you will have amazing second Advent uh, Sunday. Enjoy this peaceful time. And hell, I hope it's peace and it will be peace. Uh, let's wish for everyone in the world to have peaceful and beautiful Christmas time. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.